All day, money, power, respect, three the hard way. What up, YouTube? Welcome back to Three the Hard Way TV, y'all. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell below. On today's show, me and the fellas got a sensitive subject and a very real subject we're gonna talk about today, and we're gonna talk about our feelings towards guys that molest children that don't necessarily know underage girl is underage and if your family member is doing it how would you feel if it was one of your friends would you still be friends with them how would you feel if it was a family member would they still be invited to family gatherings barbecues family reunions so on and so forth we all know someone that has had sex with underage girls whether it was knowingly or unknowingly. And I want everybody to talk and get a perspective. Uh, 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 if you got a story, you got a little background, we're going to keep it brief. We're going to pass it around the room and everybody go ahead and, and give a speech. And we're going to start off with uh, the brother Abu Watson. Oh, my God. Goofball ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> How how would you how would you feel, bro? Could you remain friends with one of your friends if they was? No, 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 I don't play that game because I got a daughter. But do you know any stories that this relates to? I got a daughter, so no, you can't even play no game like that. I got a daughter. It's just a touchy subject for you. That's that's that's, that's it. That's it. You hear me? I, I, I have seven seconds. I got a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> no. you hear me? Okay. <laughs> well, y'all, 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 y'all all know. Growing up on the on the west side, we all grew up on the west side, man. And, and I know of several uh, men that was dating underage girls, picking up, picking them up from school, and all that. I always thought it was weird, man, because I'm like, this bitch is 15, like me, nigga. You 30. Mm. What a 30 year old bitch is that? Like, I ain't no more exactly. is, a, is is a shortage. <laughs> He was hanging with right. Kelly before, goddamn it. You knew us. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah she no, got boy. Hey, it's, she, it's, a, it's some niggas that live on Hamlin and Ridgeway <laughs> <laughs> and Lundell. You hear me? Millard. <laughs> shit. I ain't gonna Millard, say that, shit. I, I think it's crazy. I, you, you can't catch me hanging with them guys, man. Okay. I ain't gonna do it. Even if I know the family member did. If I know the Boy, them girls. You can't catch me hanging with them girls, can't, with them girls either. <laughs> Nick, hey. Nick, Nick, how would you feel, man? Would you would you want to kick this person out the family? Would you hang with this guy? Man, as far as that goes, man, you know I can't. <laughs> 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 Don't come around me, man. You know what I'm saying. I, I ain't with all that gym, so you know, but you know, as far as you know, as the real goes, we get into the point of a generation where it's almost normal. You got you know, young females looking for sugar dicks, shit like that. You know, mm -hmm. the niggas that's gonna trick off, then you got the perverted motherfuckers that are thirty years old looking for a young bitch and praying on him, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They, they doing they what? Up in the situation. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Even I even look at the motherfucking 30s fucking with uh little 19 yo and she's feeling so <laughs> and you know <laughs> you know I knew history that uh old like back in hit back in way back in days that's hey, what well, they hold, did. Hold, hold on he's you said if they 30 something mess with 19 year olds that's crazy yeah that's real crazy okay man. okay go ahead real i'm gonna say okay money man what you feel about it have you have you experienced hey, uh, anything that is uh, especially with you being the youngest you being the youngest on the panel uh, t tonight, money man. Uh, you out in the streets? I, I, I know, I know, I know. You see some of them young things your age, man, with a motherfucker. You like, come on, man, that's my granddaddy. <laughs> I, I feel like it's it's wrong and shit. You feel me? I feel like that's bullish. 
But like I got I experienced it, you feel me? I experienced it before when like when I was like being around like when you be around type of people though, like it be they be cool, you feel me? They be cool, but when you figure out like what they really did and shit, you be like, hell no, I can't even kick it. Right. And then it's crazy though, it's crazy though, like cause girls around my age and stuff, like you say, they'll be they'll be initiated with the older nigga. Sometimes they don't be the nigga, you feel me? The girl that's shooting his inbox, she probably want a pair of joints or something. A true or something. She gonna jump right at old school inbox because she's gonna old school and get a great. So I don't it's crazy. That's I wanna kick it with them, but the person do that. I feel like you should never kick it when they should be they should have a label on their name. Okay. Well, I know it's all bullshit. Whatever he says now, you know it wasn't his true actions then. You know, it's time enough to think about it. Or the reaction of the public that's kind of changed his perspective of it. Yeah. You can show me anything you want. There's no way you can convince me he wasn't an asshole. Okay. Label they forehead. <laughs> My boy Jeff. Well, uh, um, what you got? If it was like, if I was like one somebody in the family did something like that to somebody in the family, yeah, I, I definitely, uh, you know, I definitely uh, um get to the bottom of it. Um, I'll be disaster. Um, yeah, like it should be. And then, <laughs> yeah. And then he going to jail too. So, yeah. family or no fam, I I can't be around nobody that. I say you going all the way. You going all the way. You sending them to jail, huh? Yeah, man. I'm I'm tricking. I don't, I don't play that. He's six nine and niggas. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell. Right, let me tell. You, <laughs> we don't care. Hey, so, hey, so, I, I just don't like it, bro. Like I just don't yeah. like just like I don't like when when these dudes with these rims and trying to get at these little <laughs> young girls. That shit ain't cool, man. I be just looking like these thirsty ass niggas, man. Like you remember back in the day they used to pull up on the young girls I ate, so when they pull off, I swoop in for the kill. <laughs> Shit, <my fuck. laughs> then they find out they age, then they get them pregnant, then damn what? Hey, look, hey, I'm gonna hey. use, use me as an example. How would y'all look at me right now if I had a 20 year old girlfriend? Hey. Crazy hey. player, hey. nigga. Hey. hey, you know what's crazy? crazy? I, I, I probably wouldn't even know because I went at you and I know you listen to Nelly and Nelly said taking him out of high school straight into the pros. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, but I mean, I'd be like, you finally get rid of that cougar. When your, uh, when your uh, guy show up with girls, you don't be like, how old is she? Unless she really look. You, know you can tell like, though, bro. You can tell. I mean, but he, he said huh. he said twenty, not sixteen, not seventeen. I know, but you can tell when oh. when you see a young girl, and you would be like, "Man, this bitch young as hell." He with. You can tell by her action. You can tell by her look. And fuck out of here. All that. If you, hey, if, 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 okay, I'm, I'm a long way for y'all. So, but if Dion pull up at your crib right now, hey Jeff, let's roll with us, right? And y'all yeah. get out the car. Now I know my man. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, we we. We ran the same routine. Right. I know she gonna hop out with fat ass or something like that. She's 20. Nigga, you ain't gonna be looking at her face. You're gonna be looking like, damn, another fat ass bitch. Look. You ain't gonna be like, is she 20 <laughs> No, nah, I ain't gonna say that, but I'm but it's the way her action is when she get around us. I'm gonna figure that out. Hey, hey, because if uh, if, if, if she if she says she hungry and wants some chicken nuggets. You know she young, bro. <laughs> she, 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 hey, give me some chicky nuggets. <laughs> a, a, a piece of love. Hey, hey. That's a lot. Hey, so, 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 okay. So I'll go how I feel, right? So, uh, I got a, I got a couple, I got a couple scenarios this guy. Like I said, he was, he was 17. He was dating his white girl. She mm -hmm. was 16. The moment he turned, the moment he turned 18, mama put the police on him. He a registered 
sex offender Damn, for the rest what? of his life. Wow. For the rest of his life because of that. So in that he... situation, you know what I'm saying? That that's that's like a weird situation because yeah. 16, 17. I don't feel nothing wrong with that. I don't feel nothing wrong with that. Right. I feel there's something let, wrong let with that. Let him finish. Let him finish. Look the at daily, your funky dog head. <laughs> the most daily part is like when we when we get those, mostly it be family members who be out here molesting well, these kids and stuff like that. That's crazy. But let me shoot y'all another scenario, right? So I was like 19, and then I was messing with this one woman like, to like 43 at the time. Damn. How come we don't how come we don't look at that the same way if the man was 43 and the chick just, was 19? That's just because you ain't put the police on them. <laughs> just like they did. Uh, that, that, <laughs> you know if I showed up, if I showed up on y'all with this chick and I'm like, bro, she 43, you know what I'm saying? Blah blah blah. Y'all ain't finna be like, what the fuck? Call the police on this. No. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got to say I'm saying in between <laughs> if any older woman would have saw it, they would say something. But us, we wouldn't say nothing because it's a double, it's a funny double standard like that. Yeah. If you twenty yeah. with a, with a forty year old, you twenty with a forty year old woman, you know, we're gonna be like, oh, he the man. She she taking care of him. But then exactly. in the same way, you see a twenty year old girl with a forty year old man, you are gonna be like, oh, he taking care of her. It's the same thing. But you yeah, know, I'm taking like, care. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm taking care of her, all right. I don't think it's a big thing. Yeah, I'm taking care of her, all right. It's a lot of, and it's a lot of that, too, in Hollywood, though. You know, in Hollywood, they get rich, and then they get a lot of young females, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to look at it that way, too. They look at that different, you feel me? But Throughout history, it has been that. Like, even with back in the day, King, Queens, all that shit, they dated young, they had younger women. I got to stay, right stay at my stand and now. You got to be at least 21 because if you can't come in the bar and get drunk with me, man, I mean, I don't need to be with you. Like, <laughs> 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 it's, 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 yeah, you hey, get a pack of squares. I, I, I hate to be you guys that single right now. In, in the world we live in right now, I hate to be you single guys because the makeup, all that shit, man, even if, hey, hey it ain't a girl that I knew that wasn't getting in the club at 18. So just because she get in the club with you, shit, what that mean? <laughs> right. You know, they let, they let women in the club, no ID, no fucking cover fee. They just letting them in, so. Right, because the shit that they got on. Right, exactly. I ain't talking about no minors, bro. This shit's sickening, man. I want to get into it. Yeah, I, I um I look bro, I don't care who it is. <laughs> if you if you've been known to do something, you've been rumored to do something, anything like that, bro. And I, I got daughters, man. I'm not trusting you in a room along with my children. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not even gonna bring you to no situation where my daughters are present. Hell, I might or, not even bring or, you or to around no another woman. I'm not gonna hey. say that. I was some situations hey. where I wouldn't even bring you around some women, bro. Hey, I don't know right. if you remember Dion, like back when we first started working at Full Lock and you was at North Riverside, I was at Cermak Plaza. And there was a uh security guard who worked in our store because we went in the mall. I forgot what his name was, but and I would have said his motherfucking name on this video. And uh the, the lady walk in, her daughter got to be like six. You know what I'm saying? And I remember it was a cat named Levi. He was the assistant manager. And it was a chick named Maria. And the store manager name was Mike. He was a preacher. I was about 16 at the time. And I remember we all standing there. And the security guard say, when she grow up, she going to have a fat ass. What? I, I turn around like, what? What? And everybody else just standing there don't say shit. I say, what you say? He like, <laughs> oh, I'm talking about the mama. I'm talking, this girl was like five or six, dog. Like, and the man literally said the shit, like. I ought to beat his ass right then and there. That's so it crazy. is That's definitely crazy. Some, yeah, some, it, it's, some it's, it's, it's definitely some weird niggas hey, out here, man. With, 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 with just like you said, I've I've heard niggas say something about somebody's daughter. I've heard it with my own ears. And I'm just like, yeah. what? <laughs> Are you serious? It's a fucking baby. baby. I don't give a fuck if she's 16 and, and you say she thick. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Hey, <laughs> hey I done heard niggas. I remember when niggas be like, I'm taking them 16 thick enough. 
You remember that shit? I don't know if you remember. My motherfucker used to say that on Lundell. I remember hearing them Ridgeway niggas saying it. Hey, Lord, keep the way way out your mouth, Lord. <laughs> hey, 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 right it's now. a shoe fist wear. Hey, hey keep the, keep, and keep the and, and, and god damn it, man. If a nigga, nigga like us, me personally was saying something about 16 year old, I was 17, 18. Hey, hey, that's why I didn't say it was us because I remember hearing grown niggas now. When I say real, like, it could have been, uh, What's them black at? What's that black at? You know them niggas used to hang around the blocks and shit. They weren't the real niggas who was over there, but I just heard them niggas say like, I take them 16 picking up, and I'm like. Don't say no like names. That? Just don't say no names, man. I can't stop them from whooping you. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't a nigga, it ain't a nigga like yeah. <laughs> me. And nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, furthermore, half the niggas dead. That was over there in the restaurant, probably crackhead. <laughs> or in jail for messing with underage girls. Hey, now you know. Wow. Yeah, you know. Or you on know, probation. I used to stay in Cabrini too, so. Mess with underage girls. You know, I used to stay in Cabrini too on a certain celebrity. I ain't going to say it because we recorded, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, his studio was right there, right around the corner from. Ah, uh, Kelly. <laughs> Mm -hmm. This studio was right around the corner from the green. And you know, my sister, I know a couple of her friends he hit, you know what I'm saying? And she cried real hard, you know. How eight, old was they? Huh? How, what was they ages? I think about around 14, 15, 16 around Ooh. then. You know, them his ages. <laughs> that's, that's some damn Kels, it's true, huh? <laughs> no, don't, don't put that on that man. Right. <laughs> Hell said it wasn't him. Fuck out of here. One him. It was his. It was his twin. Hey, hey no, that real. Was, that was Aaron Hall. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey I, I ain't trying to have no cut. <laughs> at my door of to me. Me. Man, That nigga know something. Tell us those girls' <laughs> names. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look, you you brought up that Footlocker shit. I remember the chick that was uh, they said it was in a video with him. She, yeah, yeah. She came. She came in Foot Locker one day. Hey, look. Now at the time she was in Foot Locker, she was grown. She was. She was nice looking. I'm like the one he pissed on. The one he pissed on. But I'm like, I don't know what she looked like at 14 when they said she did it. But when I seen it, she was like 21 or 22, and I'm like, oh okay. They was like he was still messing with her then though. So she has got to be like 35 now. They had, to be, know, a, they had to be a humbling know. experience. <laughs> hey, I, just know, I just know, like, when all of us was coming up in Londale, it wasn't no motherfucker, even when we was 15 and 16, wasn't no badass 14 year olds and 15 year olds. Like, it just wasn't. Wasn't no shit out there that was like, hey, she cold, she 14, fuck her. And you 15, even at that age, it wasn't popping. Like, so I know times change, you know, motherfuckers get bigger, you know what I'm saying? But still, hell no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so um, we all we all gonna be in agreement, man. That you know is 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 not right. And 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 y'all and y'all gonna promise me that y'all ain't gonna mess with no little girls. Yeah, that's the uh -huh. first agreement that we all hey. had, everybody agreed. On. Hey, but I want y'all to agree. If we if we if we see them grown women out there with them little niggas too, treat it the same way. Don't be talking about mm -hmm. that nigga motherfucker player and all. No, treat that shit the same way. I don't know. No, don't. I don't know. No, I ain't gonna lie. He'll play a I ain't getting in that. Yeah, I ain't getting in that. I ain't getting in that. I ain't getting in that. He most definitely a player. You hear me? Teachers and all. He's 18, she 42, and he probably looking at her 14 year old daughter. He ain't no motherfucker. Nah, he a player, bro. He ain't looking at her. You know what mama in there doing? You hear me? That fourteen-year-old girl ain't like, thinking about fruit roll-ups and grapefruit and handcuffs. You hear me? Right. <laughs> hey. I know oh, these motherfuckers. Oh man, that lady, that lady, you know, with mashed potatoes and gravy and shit. Hey, hey, Marvin and Dion. Hey, <laughs> hey, Marvin and Dion, man. I know these little kids, man. Like as far as a boy, man, they need some type of sexual experience from a woman before they fourteen, fifteen years old. <laughs> He go with this shit again. 
<laughs> hey, yo, that funny as hell, boy. Yeah. Ooh. I know they need some type of... So, so, before we end this segment, do you feel like, like at 14, 15 years old, if you a boy, you late to the party as far as getting some pussy or some head? Yeah. If you 15 years old, don't you feel, wouldn't you feel like you late to the party? But that we was in, a, in our era, yeah. But now, I don't know. Yeah, and but that's what I got to say. Now it, might, now it might even be crazy. Man, these motherfuckers watching porn. Hard, man. Man. Real, I ain't gonna say real. I ain't gonna say real. These little motherfuckers uh, watching porn hard huh, back now. Okay. I, ain't gonna say you, I ain't gonna say you late to the party only because I ain't gonna lie. When we was coming up in Londale. As a male. As a male. As a male, look, when we was coming up on, in Londale community, I guarantee you a lot of niggas was our age over there. One fuck. So, because it, cause it's an yeah. exception for somebody like us. It's really the norm, though, fuck. It's really the norm. It's an exception to be fucking at 13 and 14. Like, that shit ain't, niggas ain't doing that, man. Because think all the motherfuckers we knew. Think all the motherfuckers we knew in Lindell. Niggas was doing that, bro. <laughs> no, they, no, no, man, they weren't doing that. They probably was on their money. Motherfucker wasn't doing that shit, <laughs> 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 that shit because... Nah, that shit... I'm going I'm to I'm 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 give you an example of exactly why niggas wasn't doing that. Nick didn't lose his virginity. He was 19. Jeff ain't lose his virginity. <laughs> you were damn lying. And, and Money Man ain't lose his virginity until he was 20. Man, how you gonna throw me out there like that, though? How you gonna throw me out there like that? It don't matter what. I lost my virginity at 12. At 12. You lost your virginity at what? Hold on. See, look. I don't wanna... I don't even... I don't wanna... The history of us is deep. But that shit ain't normal, man. Like, that shit is not normal. Hey, don't care what you say. I was getting it. I knew him at 12. I don't care what you say. I ain't say you won't getting it, but I know you. I ain't say Jeff won't getting it, but if you want me to say you won't getting it, you at twelve you probably won't coming outside, nigga. I, I give him oh se- I give him seventeen. <laughs> I give him seventeen with that twelve. No man. No Jeff. Man, you yeah, said, I... Hey Jeff, you was getting that twelve. What year was you twelve then? Shit. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't hey, remember man. all that shit, boy. I, 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 hey, I ain't gonna lie, you was outside with us and shit. I don't know if you was getting it or not. I just know what I was getting. I don't know what nobody else was getting. And everybody had girls, but I wasn't going in the room with you, motherfucker. So you might was, you right. know what I'm saying? Right. That shit, right. That shit ain't the normal for no 14 year old to be fucking. Like, I got, think of all my little brothers. Only one I know for sure was fucking is my real at 14. It was no, the it's Marrell. Marrell had a baby at 14, so he the only motherfucker I really know of my little brothers. You know, I don't know if it was Money Man fucking. I don't know if it was Pooh fucking. I don't know if it was Quaddy. I don't know if it was Lottie. I don't know if it was Mikel. Mikel <laughs> might work because he's a basketball star. But only one I know for sure is Marrell. That shit not normal for no 13. And Jeff said 12, unless you're an exceptional human being like myself. But other than that. <laughs> <you know. laughs> exactly. Hey, 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 a money man, tw- 20 is not a bad number, bro. Don't don't even worry about this shit. Ooh. It's saying, it's saying. <laughs> hey, he said 20. Right. It's saying cool, money man, but hey, you, you was waiting on the right one. Hey, I mean, you, you can't hey, stop hey, a kid. Hey, hey, hey money any man. Kid. Where Pooh at? He, he just left. He outside. Oh, he left. How old is Pooh now? 18, right? Oh, Pooh 20. Pooh 20? Damn, he definitely won't fucking yeah, at 14. He, he won't fucking at no 14. <laughs> he going to, hey, Pooh, Pooh, Pooh going outside he right now. About break his, he, he going outside right about. now. He going outside so right now. Break his break his break. Yeah. My, he was thinking my, about it. You hey, my man told him, I'm going to have to protect you from all these women. So wait till you're 20, my boy. <laughs> hey, but I'm going to be honest with you, man. These kids be... These kids growing up and all that shit. Hey, look, man. man. They, they experience and shit like hey, that. Hey, matter of fact, this is, my last, this is my last point. So, here we got a daughter. Dion, you got a daughter. I don't know if any other of y'all got daughters. Any other y'all got daughters? No, nah, you no, got, got a daughter. daughter. Okay, right, right. Now, think about this. Herb, you said if the man ain't fucking at 14, he late to the party. So, I guess he fucking one of y'all daughters. Damn. Because they got to be fucking somebody. 
Yeah, oh, yeah, he probably is. He, he probably is. You just, just got to hope he ain't. But I'm just telling you, <laughs> if the motherfucker man is 14, 15, he late to the motherfucker party. You know? These <laughs> the motherfuckers out here touching on shit and grabbing shit these days. You know? hey, that's Trump, what I'm man. saying. Hey, Donald that's Trump, what I'm grab saying. Him by the pussy. My my last grab question. Grab pussy. My grab last yeah, Donald Trump, <laughs> grab by the pussy. You hear me? My last yeah. question for everybody is, you ain't gotta say no names. You ain't gotta, you know, point nobody out because we've been <laughs> we've been joking, <laughs> but keeping it serious at the same time. Do have any of you guys known or it's been rumored, you know, the rumor that touched your ear of a known molester, and and how did you look at them? After that, moving forward, I don't fuck with him. Now I go first. I don't fuck with him. This Lord Boo Watson, I don't fuck with him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so have you heard you? So you saying you heard of somebody? Yeah, yeah, shit, what the fuck you mean? I heard of somebody. I ain't know you. Come on, Marvin. Let's not do this because you won't name drop. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I said no. Because you won't name drop. <laughs> Hey, I said, I said don't name drop but <laughs> I I've been put in I've been put in that category. What category? But, this, but the shit no, ain't true though. Hey, hey Jeff, 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 Jeff. This ain't you hear me? What I'm talking about. <laughs> what I'm talking about. Cause then they're gonna ask us how we do, do. Ain't got nothing to do with nobody. You hear me? Right, right, right. Okay, Jeff, no, go no. ahead. Have you heard you don't fuck with him no more? No, it, no, I'm saying I was in a situation with a situation that motherfucker thought I did it, but I didn't. So now I said I moved out. So you think people look at you funny after that? No, in the beginning, they were looking at me guilty until the results came back. Okay. So I, I took that as a kind of hard like, damn. They, oh, so this what they on? You don't fuck with them like that no more. No, at first I won, but but shit, I just let the shit go, man. Like it took me a long time to forgive all everybody. Right. Okay. But, okay. We don't we don't want you to name drop, but we understand. What about you, money man? Well, I I, 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 name, drop. I name drop. Fuck it. Like, I remember right. When I was in jail, this a person. Let me tell the story. This a person like our spirit is right. So we was all in jail and we was all up on the at the finball act or something that you feel. So now we, it was literally he just one of these days we just do this. You feel me? Like he called, he called home. He like, hey, look this name up. He 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 looked my name up. He oh, money man, straight in for uh, uh, a a drug time. And we looked up. <laughs> he said, "Oh, John, today I ain't gonna say that." Look at his first name. His shit ain't check out right. His shit come back for touching something. Hey, she just asked, but it be, be blood out there. They, they made him take that shit, proclaim that shit, none of that shit. Yeah, my fuck don't play with that shit. So man. when when he got out, was you still cool with him or or what? I ain't, no, I, ain't, I don't know if I don't get no shit. I ain't, I left oh, okay. it at that. I ain't look, up, I know his name and shit. I looked it up to see if it was oh, true. Okay. When it was true, I just cut him off. Okay. That man. shit crazy, man. Hey, more of another story, though, bro. What, what about you, Nick? What, Nick ain't give his answer. Go ahead. All right, so I'm going to tell y'all what I did. I did this shit back in 2013. You know what I'm saying? And ever hear you puss, I'd have been around it, just seen it. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't never been close to it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, just recently I done heard about some shit, you know what I'm saying, that make me look at a motherfucker different. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely. You want to elaborate? I'm definitely on stay with you. Know? you wanna... <laughs> <laughs> I do. What you got? You don't want to elaborate, Marvin? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, 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 I've, I've, I, I got, I know of like two stories where some shit was a, was a fact. You know what I'm saying? But 
Both of both of those times, well, no, matter of fact, I know of three stories. I, I know one with my with my sister. With, with, with my with, with my one of my sisters. And uh I, I was I was younger than your sister, so she raped me. No, 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 no. This 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 something else, man. This is like okay. this some real shit. This some real shit. She uh I you know told me about it later and and at the time it was like you know I was I was young and I was around and you know I was oblivious to the shit. Like I didn't know that it was happening, but it was like the, the shit had made me so mad that I could have went and whooped the person ass now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I, yeah, that'd be, I just yeah, that be I, fucked I, up when you feel like that. I, I I just decided that it was like a thing that I was just gonna say fuck it and leave it alone. But that type of shit touch people, man. Even if it's not the person that it happened to, you know what I'm saying? It, it, like just hearing those words and hearing the story, you know what I'm saying? That shit affect the nigga, you know what I'm saying? So that 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 shit is real, man. And you know, I just. Pray don't no motherfucker, you know. Now, like I'm older, if that happens now or something, bro, I'm going to jail, man. I ain't going to jail. Yeah, you beat your ass, and that's gonna be that. Nah, I'm, do- <laughs> I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing more than, I'm doing more than beating some ass, bro. I ain't lying. Hey, Lord, so, you, so, you, so, you kid, so, I'm telling you, for whatever I was gonna do, I ain't going to jail for it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> What about you, Mom? So, so I got I got two stories. They real quick. So, you know, one time I had met this girl and shit, and I was rocking with her. We weren't like relationship status and no shit like that, but we was just cool. You know what I'm saying? Dion know who she is. I brought it. I brought her down there before, and um, um, like she used to just be like her her uh, like she used to just be like this super sexual person. Like no matter where we was at, I'm talking about we could be on. In the back alley garbage can, I'm like, damn, like it was just, it was just abnormal, you know what I'm saying? Just, just too much. And then later, like when I stopped fucking with her, she told me that like her mama boyfriend used to mess with her. And then when she was 14, him and his friends pulled up on her somewhere and raped her. And it was, it, was, it was just crazy because like the dude didn't go to jail and no shit like that. But it was just crazy, like, when she told it to me, you know, I, I never heard, nobody never told me no shit like that. So when she told me, it just kind of hit you in a way, I'm like, damn, like, you want to kill a motherfucker, but it's really nothing you can do, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, this one, this one kind of funny, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, early, early stages of life, like, I was like, maybe 16, 15, 16 or something, and I'm, uh, I'm fucking with this girl and shit, and then... Um, she wasn't my girlfriend either, but she thought she was. And I found out this older she nigga fucking was. with her. The older nigga fucking with her. And come to find out she really his girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? The nigga, he was grown as hell. She was like 14, 15. What, what, what his like, name was, bro? I, I, ain't, I ain't dropping no name. If <laughs> you know the story, you know the story. Hey, it, it, it rhymed it ride with dead. Fred. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> we ain't go. We ain't gonna go there with the name drop, but y'all know the funny, the funny story. But it was right. but the shit just crazy. I look at like the shit been around us a long time. We just motherfuckers just really weren't paying attention to it like that. But the shit crazy, man. Yeah, shit, shit always shit crazy, crazy bro. Bro. Even the innocent motherfuckers. Well. There y'all have it, man. Um, it's Go not. It's, it's really not something you can put humor on, but that you know, it's it, inhumane, really. It, it is, and uh, you know, I, I hope people out there seek help, man. I hope they start cutting niggas nuts off for that shit, man, so we can know who got it. You pull your pants down. <laughs> you ain't got no nuts, bro. We know. We know you around this motherfucker touching shit. It real shit, man. Y'all got any, any comments, any questions, the, the email and the phone numbers below. Leave a question. Got a story. Send it. Peace, man. We out. All day, money, power, respect. Three the hard way.